Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Let's get into it. What's going on with my Aries? The Hanged Woman. Could be a Pisces, but I think you're really stuck up in your head about something. The Ten of Wands is what's crossing you. Something's definitely over. You're about to loosen a burden that's keeping you stuck. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. This could be a job. All right, this could be a work situation. Doesn't have to be. But I'm seeing the Ten of Wands is what's crossing you. There's definitely an ending that needs to take place here. In the distant past, we had the Knight of Cups. This is somebody who wears their heart on their sleeve. And they come forward like a childlike innocence and explore love. In the most recent past, we had a new beginning here when it comes to your finances. You're doing real well financially. In the immediate future, we have the Creatrix. This means that you are creating the world that you desire in this now time and in the immediate future. The Hierophant is the factors affecting the situation. This is spiritual enlightenment or a teacher. Somebody that you are... I'm here, I'm spiritually connected to. Four of Cups is the outside influence. Not knowing if you want it or not. Ace of, eight of Wands as hopes and fears. Either you're going to get a message or you're going to send a message. Ooh. And we got the Queen of Swords as the final outcome. So somebody's about to cut somebody off. And it ain't going to be nice. I mean, the Queen of Swords is a stand-up gal, you know. But she's right before the Empress. And she don't take no crap off nobody. She cut a bitch. So, there's somebody or something here that you are going to cut out by the end of this reading. Could be a Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This is Taurus. This is Pisces. And we have Pisces twice. So, I almost feel like, um, let's, let's, let's clarify because I want to make sure that that's what I'm feeling with that before I say anything. Ten of Wands as what is crossing you. That is the ending of something or someone in the Nine of Pentacles energy, pre-Empress energy. I feel like somebody needs to end it with this Empress because They just found out a disappointing fact and they know in their heart that although they love this person, there is another. You may be disappointing someone. You may be the empress here because you know who you love. You know. Whatever this is, it's leading you right to it. Right to it. Somebody who's single, somebody who's independent, somebody who takes care of business. We had Aries on the bottom there, the, the divine masculine, and that's the divine feminine. Maybe um, you're going through an ending with this divine feminine or divine masculine, whichever sex you're on there but um 
Yeah, there's some cold hard truth coming in. All right. Ten of Pentacles. So the truth here is somebody is very immature. You've won this person's heart. Like I said, this could be somebody that you work with. Because now i got the Eight and Nine of Pentacles. So we got the Queen of Swords, the Cold Heart Truth, you know. Um, no matter what the situation, maybe even a little manipulation going on here. Um, with that Page of Cups, which could be somebody who is at a significant difference than you. I mean, with the, with the Page of Cups here, it could even be a child. But it's somebody offering you their love. Or childlike. Um, it's somebody offering you everything that you ever wanted. As far as the Ten of Pentacles goes. That's, you can't get no better than that. I mean, as far as money goes. Especially as far as st stability goes. You go to the King, Queen, and, and back to the Ace. Which is... Number one. So, Ten of Pentacles. You're going to come into some serious money here real soon. But there's an attachment. Maybe to a Gemini. Or a Cancer. Or a Libra. Or a Capricorn. Man. Got some majors going on for you guys. Um... I feel like your disappointment and your pain is stopping you from moving forward in another relationship. Yeah, with the, with this hair font, you know this person, you know this person is your person. But your pain, your past pain, the Nine of Wands, is stopping you from moving forward with this person. Maybe there are three people involved. I do feel that. I feel like a past person with this page of cups and maybe a new person with this nine of pentacles. Somebody who's very independent opposed to somebody who's very codependent. So you have one of each. What is this four of cups that you don't seem to want? Oh yeah. Five of Swords. This is an uphill battle for you. That's why. But you're about to be fair to a significant other with that Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Moon. You don't know where you're going. What's this song? I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been. Um, that's what I'm getting with this. I think that's Five Finger Death Bunch. Don't know where I'm going. Where was that song? Um, oh, God. Between Heaven and Hell or something like that. Five Finger Death Punch. I'll have to look it up. Let me look it up real quick. Wrong side of hell. Wrong side of heaven. Wrong side of heaven. That's what the name of that song is. I'm on the wrong side of heaven and the righteous side of hell. Alright. You don't know where you're going, but you sure know where you've been. Alright. So, what is this Queen of Swords about for my Aries? Breadcrumbing, gossiping, competition. Oh my goodness. This led you right into a um, shitstorm. We have Taurus again here. We have 
even though this is the Queen of Swords, we have the Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Five of Wands. There is a specific change coming for you right now. It involves a lot of people. It involves competition. It involves jealousy. It involves gossip. All of that. You're talking more drama here than you could possibly deal with. And maybe that's what you're cutting off. You're just like cutting it off. You're like, Psh, you know what? I ain't even dealing with none of y'all. And in the hair font energy, you are standing in your own spiritual power with this. I think you're tired of all these people around you that are fighting. So you're about to cut it off at the neck from what I could see. There's so much going on in these cards with the Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Five of Wands. So much going on here. And that is your final outcome. You know, I mean, final outcome. Angels and demons. You have to figure out which one's which. And I think by the end of this reading, you're going to be quite confused about that. Because there is, like I said, there's earth energy, there's air energy, there's water energy. And I don't think you know which way to go. And like I said, with that moon and that leap of faith, the brand new beginning... You may be choosing to start all over again in the relationship department. Ten of Wands again. So this is this is definitely coming to a close. We have the past returning. King of Cups. One-sided relationship. Because we don't have the Queen. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Takes forever. Oh, okay, so you're trying, this is trying to fix the past, but it's taking forever, so you're about to let go of it, either you or the other person. Somebody's definitely about to let go of this, and that is Spirit's advice as well, is to allow this tower to fall. Because whoever this person is in your life right now, and I feel like they could be a lot younger than you, they're causing you to have a lot of a lot of drama, a lot of towers, a lot of competition here. Like you, they're making you compete for them. I don't see no point in that. But whatever. You know, I'm just here to give you the messages. Um, could be Scorpio. But I got Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces heavily on this board and every other sign got everything on on the board heavily on the empress energy though i don't see an emperor i just see an empress something's about to change something big is about to change it has to do with your love life your job Recognition and somebody who is stealing from you. And I don't feel like you're giving this person. I think they're just taking it. I'm feeling sugar daddy or sugar mama here. So... And what they're really doing is... Tagging you every time they can. Look at that card. Every time your back is turned, they're reaching in your pocket. Alright? So that's one of these two people. Either the mature woman, you're the mature woman, or a mature woman is involved in this along with a young energy. So there are two different ages involved with you right now. Somebody's definitely big time single. Big time single. And they like it that way. 
Let's see what the love oracle's got to say. Like I said, this could be work involved. This does not have to be a relationship. Wow. But it does look like a twin flame relationship. A learning herb, a learning experience. We have somebody playing out, outdated thinking, playing events over and over in your head. And not today, Satan. I mean... Not today, Satan. I'm not dealing with you. I'm just not dealing with you. Then we got Axe, breakup, separation. Heart with the key, meeting. Let's say, welcoming love and meeting the one. So there's definitely a twin flame relationship happening here. Somebody breaking up and going towards their twin flame. Somebody they know that they are spiritually connected to as well as physically attracted to. All right? Wow. You're in for a surprise, Aries. That's all I got to say here. I, I don't think you were expecting this person to be what they are, which is your... Yin and yang, the union, duality, coupling each other and complementing each other. It's like when you guys go out together, you shine so bright that the Taurus field comes out of both of you at the same time. And that makes you, um, that makes you glow. That makes both of you glow really bright. And you can't get away from that. The other person looks like they're, they're trying to keep you stuck. So, like I said, choice is always yours, guys. I'm not going to bitch at you or tell you who to choose or what to choose. I'm going to tell you what the messages are and what you got to work with. All right? Well, those are your messages. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye.